Hi guys. We're on our way to Korea. Yes, we're gonna visit Seoul and Busan. And thanks to Miss Sky here, we got upgraded to Comfort Plus. Comfort Plus. And in Comfort Plus, if you haven't traveled international before, we get a pillow, covers, and my favorite booties. <laughs> Booties? Booties. That's what they call them. They don't call them slippers. They call them booties. She's just jealous because she don't know my language. Anyways, you guys, sit back and enjoy our videos to Korea. And thanks for watching. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Seoul, South Korea. We made it. Our vacations begin here at the Angry Cow. No, I'm just messing. I'm not staying there. I'm actually staying over here at Twin City. It's an Airbnb centralized here in Seoul. And it is actually perfect because it is so big. There is 30 floors. 30 floors of glory. And you can see the whole city. You'll see that we're centralized because of the fact that there's nothing but buildings and businesses all over the place. Such a perfect place to stay. There's a coffee shop right next to me. There's a mall right next door to me. And um, there's even a CU. Have you guys ever heard of a CU before? See over here? It's like a 7-Eleven, just a little bit more class. Whew. The weather is so nice, I'm ready to get this vacation started. Let's go. Welcome to Seoul, South Korea. And this is actually gonna be our stay, Twin City and Ansam. And here, you must respect their home by wearing their booties. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to show you really quickly where we're staying. That's my friend Sky hiding over there. We just had a long three hour cruise over here from Busan. And I'm pretty excited about staying here. It's like a brand new adventure all over again. We purposely got this room because of the sights. Wow, it is congested out there. <laughs> Their power plugs are annoying here, by the way. This is the bed area where Miss Sky Z is trying to cool down because she's very hot and sunburnt. And yeah, more views. Well, let me skip on over this way. Wow. Really, really cool view. No joke. I bet that's going to be nice at night. That's it. It's just like a one bedroom, one bathroom. Oh, and the couch pulls out to a bed. Yes, the couch pulls out into a bed. Okay, so that I guess that counts as a two bedroom then. We can count this as a bedroom and we can count that as a bedroom. Although I'd never want to live in something so small, I'd go insane, especially how much stuff I have. Here's the bathroom. Got the crazy rich people toilet here. And the shower is really nice. I actually like this shower a lot better than the one in Busan. Look at that. We need to definitely take a shower. That train three hour ride was very exhausting. Anyways, sit back and enjoy this video tour of Seoul. Good morning from Seoul, South Korea. This is my first morning here. It's about 5 o'clock a.m. I'm out early because that's when the weather is nice, as you can see. No sun the peace in the air, the quiet. That way I can explore. And look, they even support the Mexican food. This is definitely gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna try to explore as much as I can and get as much video as I can and pictures as I can, especially because this is my first time out of the country. Enjoying my pictures, enjoying my videos. Well, I appreciate you guys watching.
continuing my way down the street in Seoul. It's now about six o'clock in the morning and it's starting to pick up just a little bit out there. Most of the businesses are still closed, haven't opened yet. Across the street, I see a 7-Eleven and a Lotteria. I'm gonna go check out the Lotteria across the street. Down here, I was told that Olive Young is a very popular place that most Korean girls go. Buses are constantly moving. You see so many buses constantly moving down here. This is actually really popular too. The composed coffee. A lot of people talk about this as well because of the options that they have. I mean, look at that. Just full of options and it's only 1500 1500 won that is which is actually very inexpensive in American cash thanks for watching guys as we continue this tour in Seoul Well, if that's not inviting, then what is? I'm coming, I'm coming. Where do you want me to go? Gas station? Walking the marketplace inside Seoul is so amazing. The culture, the items that they sell, the people, the smells. I just can't say enough about it. I know I've probably said it before, but it's just the things that they do, the services that they offer, the miles and miles of different stores and the options that they have. Look how small that store is, yet it's so full of stuff. This guy right here barely has any room. It's like a Harry Potter thing going on. But yet they work so hard, so long. So many cool items, so many things. It's just nonstop shopping in this district. You know, one thing that I've learned about, about Korea is people love to shop. I mean, everywhere I go, there's nothing but shop after shop after shop after shop. It doesn't matter if it's condensed. It doesn't matter if it's shop after shop after shop, just side by side. They love to shop. Almost every single block that I've been to, or actually, let's, let's put it like this. Every few blocks, there's this alleyway. And in this alleyway, there's tons and tons of blocks filled with shopping. Just so much to do, so much to get. I mean, honestly, I'm already, I was already out of cash yesterday, just, just spending so much on K-pop and food and entertainment. And uh, yeah, so I had to load up again today. And there's tons of coffee shops too, like that. Just so many options. I really wanna go spend some money right now, so I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. So back in the 1900s, this uh, gate was formed. And it's been here since the 1900s. Used to be used as a, a gate of travel. Animals and vehicles that were actually formed back then, of course. Um, these days, it's now like a tourist site, but it's very sacred to Korean people. It's well-guarded securities here. And uh, at the same time, they watch you. Cameras everywhere. It is extremely big, it's extremely beautiful, as you can see in the background. But like I said, 1900s, wow. This thing has been definitely standing the test of time and it is super clean too. I mean, the paint on it looks like it's been touched up, but I don't know how they do it, but let's go walk through it.
So if you're planning on coming to South Korea, be prepared. There's a few things you should know. First of all, it's really busy out here. People are really fast paced. They're constantly on the move. I'm talking bumping into you, crowded intersections, crowded buses, crowded restaurants. It's just the way it is down here. You can have a beautiful girl bump into you. You can have a guy bump into you, Ugh. but it's okay. It's just the way it is. They're not trying to be rude. It's fast paced. There's a lot of food everywhere. I'm talking restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. If you really walk these streets, you're gonna notice there's at least 10 to 15 restaurants per block. How they fit at all, I have no idea. You'll see in the videos. We've been doing a lot of eating, a lot of uh, adventuring, trying different things. The other thing too is you need to make sure you have a good deodorant. It is extremely hot out here. I'm talking maybe four blocks I walk and I can already feel the sweat coming on. It's that bad. In the mornings, it's not too bad. I usually try to come out between six o'clock and eight o'clock in the morning to do some adventures. But as soon as it hits the afternoon, it gets really hot. And then from the afternoon until about eight o'clock at night, you're gonna sweat. It's just the way it is out here, it is hot. Uh, today it's gonna be 90, but the humidity in the air makes it feel like it's worse, especially because you can feel the water dripping on your face. My friends got bad sunburn, bad sunburn. So we had to go buy some aloe. Yeah, yeah. Be prepared. Is it worth it? Yes, it's definitely worth it. At least as a one-time thing. This is my first time out of the country and I'm enjoying it. So I hope you continue to enjoy this video. See you guys later. I'm at a cat cafe. I've never been to one before. There's cats everywhere. And they're so cute. See those paws? Mm -hmm. And you just kick it with a cat's while you have a drink. Hi. This is in Seoul, guys. Get a chance to come check it out. You should. But you gotta be quiet. Uh oh, my friend's waving me down. She wants some food. I told you, all we do is eat. My favorite thing about being spontaneous is running into things like this. So I was just walking and we were trying to find something to eat. Of course, we're eating a lot down here because that's what you do. And I found this little cafe here and we're gonna try this next. Just waiting on my friend right now. She's at a she's at a different spot. But we're gonna catch up here pretty soon. This is what I really want to try though. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm. I think my Korean is a little rusty, but <laughs> I found this restaurant here that I'm gonna try out. Now, although all this chicken looked really good, this is the one that actually caught my eye. That one, that one, that one. I think I'm gonna stick with what I want, but I also was looking over here at this and I saw that. So why don't I just do both? Treat myself. Let's go check it out. Thank you. 
amazing, isn't it? Just to let you know, those rice crackers totally make your tongue fizz. So I'm here at the Lotteria. This meal here with the water was approximately $5 in American cash. Not bad for just a quick breakfast in the morning, but um, I, I do like this. They give you these little cheese packets and then you just put the cheese all over it. I mean, you can even put it on your burger if you want to. Very generous, I guess. Yeah. One thing you'd love about Korea, this was only 5,000 won. So in our money here in America, this was only like $4. What a deal. Back in the States, that would have been like $8 minimum. This is the pistachio chino. Totally excited about this drink. <laughs> Check this out, guys. This is like the banana frappuccino. It's awesome. Looks great, and I can't wait to get down. It is a beautiful morning, guys. And I went back to Mammoth Coffee. This time I got the uh, pistachio frapp. Perfect way to start the morning. With so many restaurant options out there, we found this restaurant that's all about K-pop. And we already know what we want. What you got going on over here? Maybe even fun. And how's the taste? Oh my god, fucking bomb. Better than the steaks. Mm. And of course, finishing it off. Because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. In Colorado, it's 8. <laughs> wow. It looks like these are all over the place, and I just can't get enough, so let's get another one. See, these things are just so addicting. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey guys, I'm enjoying some of the nightlife out here and I wanted to show you the food. I'll tell you the bread egg that I showed you in the other video is probably my best. These cheese balls look very tempting. No thank you on that one. Look at that, guys.
it is extremely busy. But <laughs> if you look real closely, you can see why. Those shrimps are super huge. Oh, here's another one. See, these are the ones that sell that those eggs bread. See, look at that. That's how they make them. Oh my god, they are so good, guys. I have yet to try these, but as soon as I put my camera down, we're definitely gonna do something new. That's for sure. Just another amazing time in Seoul, Korea. So this is a place that this woman wants to eat at, who's camera shy. <laughs> so let's go check it out. I guess it's supposed to have this bad boy for only three dollars. That's in U.S. money, of course. It's a huge piece. Kasana. <laughs> Spontaneous sauce. We're just gonna do it. Do it. Do it. And we wrap it up. Seoul, South Korea has come to an end. Our vacation was fun. We had so much to do, so little time, but we made the most of it. And this, I don't know why this thing keeps staring at me, but this thing's staring at me. This little mask thing is in the heart of Seoul. Maybe it's trying to get my soul. Yeah, whatever. It didn't sound as funny as I thought it would. But anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. We have a lot more and a lot more coming. So if you like, subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.